Hello, my name is David Reed and I'm the superintendent for Choctaw Nicomal Park Schools. I want to welcome everyone to the 2022-23 school year. I also want to say thank you for allowing us the opportunity to work with your children each and every day. We consider it an honor and a privilege. Today's video is to provide general information about district-wide information. You'll be getting more specific information about your child's school from emails and the website from your child's administration. The first area we will cover is how to update your demographics for students who attended last year and who will be returning this school year. This information is for students who attended CMP schools last year and will be returning this school year. Each school year, parents and guardians are asked to update their demographic information. A step-by-step -step guide on how to complete this is provided by clicking on the Enroll tab on the cmpschools.org main page. Once on this page, simply click the blue Current Students box and follow the on-screen instructions. This page also provides information on how to access Parent Portal. Our next area will be to provide child nutrition information. It is very important to complete and submit a free and reduced meal application this year as school meals will no longer be free to all students. Congress did not renew the funding for free meals to all students. Not only does completing a free and reduced form help out your family, it also helps out the school district as many federal grants and awards are based on the number of eligible free or reduced students the district has. The link to access the free and reduced form will be emailed as soon as it becomes available. Unfortunately, there will be a meal price increase due to the inflationary increase in the price of food and supplies. We are striving to keep the increase as small as possible. The new meal prices will be released shortly. There is much more information about child nutrition guidelines and procedures, along with contact information and school menus located on the child nutrition page on the district's website. Our next area to discuss are COVID protocols. There are no longer mandated quarantines for exposure. That is left up to each individual parent. We do, however, ask that if your child has any COVID symptoms, you monitor them at home and only send them back when you know that they are COVID free. Anyone who tests positive are required to stay home in isolation for a minimum of five days and may return after that if you've been fever free for at least 24 hours and your symptoms are improving. It is recommended that those returning wear a mask for an additional five days. We will be providing additional videos in the near future. Before school starts, we'll provide three. One will be for Mr. Dillback. He will provide information on what we're doing to provide safe and secure schools. The second one will be done by Mr. McFarland, who's the Director of Transportation. He will provide all the information that parents need to know about gaining bus access, bus numbers, bus stop times, pickups, drop-offs, all that type of information. And the final one that we release before school starts will be from Dr. Yaona, and she will be describing a new program for online tutorials. Keep following Beyond the Boardroom editions that are released after the school year begins for further information. The first one planned will be when Mr. Dilbeck updates on the progress of the 2022 school bond issue. As always, there's a need for substitutes in the classroom as well as anyone with a CDL who's interested in driving a school bus. Information can be found by clicking on the personnel tab on the district's website at cmpschools.org or you can contact Pam Fox in the personnel office at area code 405-390-5490. Once again, we look forward to working with each of you as we move throughout this school year, and we'll see everyone on Tuesday, August 16th for the first day of school. Until then, continue to enjoy your summer. I know I will.